everyone it's elaine it's been a while since the last time i did a video maybe i think uh a month or so but uh anyway i i took some time to make this quick easy projects for mother's day and as you can see i have some cards here and some gift card holders and i have some uh, altered binder clips and i'm gonna show them to you one one by one but before we do that i'll share with you what paper i use i have some i have a collection here and since this is a use your stash video i went through my paper and found this one i had this collection for a while and i think i just made two cards out of this collection and that was it so i'm so happy i found this one it's by authentic and the collection is grace and i've got this uh like years ago from winners for 5.99 and there are lots in here so these are the items that you can find in this uh package you get some uh, you get some tags you get some excerpts you get some alpha stickers word stickers and the papers are double-sided you have some icons in here so i was able to use but not all, all of them i still have lots in here but uh see there's lots in this one this is a really good deal and i wasn't able to use this one the, the stickers i wasn't able to use that but i was able to use lots of the paper and i'm glad and actually you can use this paper not just for mother's day it's 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 good for mother's day because it says perfect for mothers and grandmothers and yeah it's perfect for mother's day but you can use this for any occasion as well okay so let's start with my simple handmade cards i've made three and the sizes are five and a half by five and a half i think let me just double check i use uh yes it's five and a half by five and a half i use the michael's recollection card like cards for my card base and it's a craft and i just layered papers i put the pattern paper and i use this one and this is from the collection as well those uh i forgot what you call this one here <laughs> this this edge is in here and i made a tag this is from the collection it's like tag already and it's double-sided home is where your mom is and my mother my friend and i just laminated it so that the recipient can take it out and use this as a bookmark so i laminated it i put this uh, vintage lace put this um twine and a little charm there and you can put it like that when you give it it's like that and they can take it out i put a doily and i put some um flowers in here and these are all michael's flower that i had in my stash as well it says you're the best and at the back it's just a pattern paper and i put the pattern paper in the inside so very quick and simple to make and the next one is same i lay i layered two papers in here put a doily put this uh sentiments from the collection i put the vintage lace and there's wild orchid craft flowers here oh i got this like for a long time there's uh flowers and i found it in my stash as well and i put some i scattered some sequins there and oh i punched this one the border using the martha stewart border punch and the inside is just a paper and then as well as this one and another card very simple two uh pattern paper i put some lace here and i put some bling on the edges top and bottom and i use these flowers from michael's that i got at the clearance long time ago from a wedding like in the wedding aisle so i got like a box of that and i'm glad i think this is there's only one left on that and this color goes pretty well with the collection it's like a light peach color and I just cut out this one. It says comfort, a mother's love, understanding. And I made it into like a fishtail. And it's like that. And just uh, pattern paper and pattern paper. So that's the three cards I made. And I also made some 4x4 four four cards. And I used this one here. I got this one from 
Target, I don't know, long time ago, from their clearance section, $1.50. We used to have Target in Canada before, and now, like, <laughs> they all close, business is closed here. So, so I got this one, and I don't know what to do with this uh, Faber bags. They're quite flimsy and thin, so that was able to use them for this uh, gift card holder so what I did I just uh, fold this just like what we do with uh, any other paper bags I fold it to make a pocket so it's like this see very thin and flimsy and so I just oh I cut that part there just to make it straight and I fold it like that so that's my pocket see this one here and I just uh, put some pattern papers and embellish it so the size is 4 by 4 after I folded it and I created a pocket where we could put the gift card here just like that and I also made an insert so that I can write my message this is from the pattern paper from the collection as well and uh, I use the border punch, the Martha Stewart border punch for the for the top there. And this one is just a a cut out from the paper and I made a flower using my Fiskars flower punch. I just layered two flowers there. I use this uh, button, very pretty button. This is a wooden button from Dollar Tree. And I put some twine there and I put flat back pearls. And that's it. Very simple but like it's so pretty. So that's the first one. They're all the same. I just use different kinds of paper. And this one. This one says my best friend. So you could actually use this not just for Mother's Day. You could give it as a birthday card and put a gift card here. This one is like Happy Mother's Day. And this one, he, she loves me. So you could use this one for like a... A lady friend something like that so I use the uh, same thing I use the Fiskars flower punch for all of the flowers here flat back pearls different color and I made okay how many did I make I make I made five of this one so I think I like this one so yeah those are my 4x4 four four gift card holders and all of them has inserts where I could write the message. And the last project I made, I altered this one. Um, this is not something new. Lots of people have been doing this, but believe it or not, this is the first time I altered binder clips. I've been wanting to alter some. That's why I bought this, uh, the big one, the jumbo one. And I got this from Staples. And the size is 2, 2 by one and a half so it's really big i got that from staples and i've been wanting to it to I like to alter some of the clips since christmas but i just didn't have time to do it and since i got lots of scraps from this uh cards that i made you just need um i think two for the paper so you could actually use your scraps because i just i needed only like two inches by three and one fourth I think to cover the whole binder clip and I like it and I was able to use my small flowers that I got from I think discount crafts one I I don't know if um, that store is still open because I got the flowers like five years ago and I still have uh, lots of the small flowers so I was able to use that one so I covered it I used the, the pattern paper I put a very nice trim. Can you see that? The front and back. Okay, let me just put this back because I didn't glue this uh, sticker. This is a bling with adhesive already. So I just push it like that. I didn't put any glue or anything. I hope it will last. If not, I could just put a, a hot glue there. And I put this uh, bling from Dollarama, that pink bling. And as I've said, I put the 
discount crafts one flowers there did the very very tiny one and I put this lace and I put the charm there I've seen some some of the like the videos I've seen they don't put uh, laces or anything in the middle and it's just it's just like this one where it's, it's also good because you could also put it like that but then I'll like it better if I put this lace here and it will stop there so it's like that and plus I could use my charms so another pattern paper here same thing I just used same flowers same trim same uh, lace but just this one is instead of a flower charm I use a butterfly charm and I just put a picture of my daughter there and at the back and this one this is really perfect to give as Mother's Day gift also aside from like if you want to give a gift card and you could also give this one and put your your mother's picture in here or whoever's you want to put a picture there or maybe the kids picture and give it to the mom something like that lots of options so that's my projects for my for Mother's Day 2017 hope you like it and uh, thank you so much everybody for supporting my use your stash video although I don't do videos regularly I just do as much as I can like after this I'm tr I'm gonna try to do a video from my Dollarama haul and I don't know when <laughs> I can do another video like uh, I don't do projects regularly as well so that's it uh, thank you guys for watching and if I won't be able to do a video uh, on Mother's Day, I want to wish everybody, all the moms out there, Happy Mother's Day. Bye, everyone.